Hey folks, this is Kiki with Rover.com, and today we'll be making bone broth for dogs. We'll be using celery and carrot for our veggie base, but you can add any dog safe veggies you like. Just avoid onions and garlic. For the bones, you can use a combination of whatever your dog likes and what's on sale. We'll be using beef bones and pig trotters for our bone broth today. The trotters make amazing gelatin. We're going to layer the bones in a roasting pan and add in the veggies in the nooks and crannies. We're going to use a liberal amount of apple cider vinegar, which helps the bones release their minerals. We're going to roast our bones at 450 degrees for about an hour. Now that everything is browned and sizzling, we're going to move everything over to the Instant Pot. You can also simmer this on the stove or in a crock pot for up to 24 hours. Go ahead and add all of the juices from the pan. We will skim the broth at the end and remove all the fat in one go. We're going to add a nice handful of fresh parsley too. You can use any dog-friendly herbs you like, just don't go overboard. Top off the pot with water until you get to the max fill line. You'd think I'd find a bigger container, but no. We're gonna set the Instant Pot for four hours, which is the max time on most Instant Pots. Okay, the broth is done. Now we're gonna remove as many of the solids as we can easily grab. Now we're gonna strain the bone broth through a mesh colander. We wanna remove any dangerous bits of bone. Okay, this is ready to go in the fridge and gel up. You can see the solid fat layer at the top. We're gonna just scrape that off with a spoon. Ta-da! You can give a spoonful or two to your dog, you can put it on top of their food, you can freeze it in an ice cube tray. Your dog is gonna love it. Join us next week on Kiki's Canine Kitchen when we'll be making your new fall favorite, apple pie bites for dogs.